Okay, so like what this paper says, 2014 Christmas gift list ideas. I kind of wanted to do a video and talk a little bit about our Christmas traditions and our budget. So um, I'm not going to show myself. I don't really show myself in my videos anyway, but I'm not going to show myself in this video. I kind of wanted it to be a face-to-face -face video, but I didn't want to wait until tomorrow to make this video. And today I am just not ready and not dressed and not make up or anything. So I'm just going to show my list and papers and all of that good stuff. So anyway, Christmas traditions. So for the past couple of years, what we've implemented with our kids is we do the three big gift under the tree. So they get three gifts under the tree that they get to unwrap. And of course, they get stocking stuffers. Stocking stuffers are usually, um, you know, really nice, little, smaller gifts, sometimes small in size, um, but not in price. And a lot of the time, small in size and price. And most of the time, I try to fill the stockings with stuff that um, they really like, not just junk, but really nice gifts that could be gifts on their own like if I decided to wrap them I could so the stocking stuffers are really nice and I don't really like to spend a lot of money on stocking stuffers I prefer to put the money budget towards the bigger gift items so like I said three gifts under the tree and then the stockings and then um, usually in October I'll have the kids make up their list and my oldest son, he is 14 and a half, and he pretty much asked for one thing this year, and it's a laptop. And um, I told him, make sure to put other things on your list just in case you can't get that, because it's really expensive here, um, all the electronics. So um, even though my kids only get three gifts, it's really um, taught them a lot about quality over quantity, um, they could get one gift. As long as it's the one gift that they really want, they're happy. So we don't go overboard on, um, you know, buying them a bunch of stuff. And I learned that the hard way one Christmas. So with the three gifts, we have them make up a list of whatever it is that they want. This is a list that I had made up of stuff that they had told me that they wanted. And then this is the actual list that they made up. And so I pretty much choose the top three items that they really, 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 really want. The ones that they've been pining after for months. Not just something new that they saw on the TV, you know, two weeks ago. Something that they've been asking for for months, sometimes even for a year. Those are the items we try to get them. And then any other little items, um, we might throw in one or two item or put it in the stocking. So... They usually get three gifts, and I know it's really, really hard sometimes for me even to stick to just the three gift limit because there's so many cute stuff that are out, and, you know, kids, they want everything. So some years it might be, you know, four or five gifts, but they know not to expect too many things. And, I mean, they get spoiled by my in-laws, and they get gifts from my brother-in-law and his wife, so it's not like they're hurting or, you know not getting enough they they get more than enough so this was my daughter's list and um these are the two items that i got her already and the ones with the little bullet are the two items that she really 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 wants i'm gonna have to return this because my mother-in-law already bought it so i'm going to get her something else that she likes because what happened was I actually got a catalog from the toy store and I had them go through the catalog and pick out a couple of items that they liked to kind of add it to their list to see if there's anything new that they wanted. And she picked something out and I asked them the other day if you could only get one thing for Christmas and they both picked out the one thing that they really, really, really wanted. Of course, I'm not going to tell them if I'm going to get it or not. That would ruin the surprise. So that's what I'm going to get her. And then this is my son. This is just a little a simple list that he had made. And um, 
yeah. This is what my older son put on his. See, the laptop is at the top. Um, and then the couple of other items he put on here. <laughs> this is too cute. Chicka like a ding dong. <laughs> so, and then this is the baby. Obviously, these are not things he's getting. These are just ideas I put on here uh, for his birthday. I already got the baby's gifts already, so he's all set. I just got to get stockings. And this was a list I had made of ideas for the baby. Obviously, the things with the bullets are the ones that I wanted to get. I decided against this because he's really, really too young. I mean, he's going to be 16 months after December. There's just no way. And um, he's been riding with his sister in her uh, Barbie Jeep. So, yeah. And then this is my six-year-old. Um, these are the two things that he picked out that he really wanted. And then he had asked for something like this. So we got him those things so yeah they've got their three gifts under the tree that they open and then the stockings and I already put what I'm going to be getting them for stockings usually we just throw a movie in there a book um, some treats um, years when I you know had a little bit more to spend I would throw like a Barbie doll or a little a game a, a video game for their game system, stuff like that. But um, as for budget this year, usually it's been for the past couple of years, I've tried to keep the budget down because we have four kids now. And that's another reason why the three gifts thing is so awesome because with four kids, you can go way overboard with just too much stuff. And I am just like not in the mood for that. So um, I figured like between six and eight hundred dollars for four kids. Plus all the other people we have to shop for. That is the budget that I like to stick to. I'm not exactly sure how much I've spent so far, but I know the my son's gift not included. We've spent way less than $600. Um, we spent 100 on the baby, and then we spent 100 and something on my daughter so far. And like... Yeah, so it's not even, I would say it's not even like $400 yet. So we're doing pretty good. And then this is the list for the other people that we have to shop for. So this is my brother-in-law, stepdaughter, and these are the items that she likes because I don't want to get her anything that she's not going to like for Christmas, and I didn't know exactly what to get her. So I had her make me a list in October or, no, not even before. August, I don't know. I had her make me a list a couple of months ago, and she wrote down all the things that she likes. Um, so I'm going to be scouring the stores for that. And then that's her little sister, my brother-in-law's daughter. She likes Monster High stuff. And then my brother-in-law, his wife, and my in-laws. Um, I'm not sure what the budget is for them, but we're definitely going to be spending less than $100 total on everybody. We spend the bulk of the budget on our kids obviously I mean that's kind of self-explanatory and then whatever is left over is what we spend on other people and we don't expect anyone to get us gifts um, we don't expect them to get our kids gifts either so that's why we kind of make sure we get our kids exactly what they want for Christmas we try to every year anyway but um, yeah we don't spend a ton on other people and then I am in a mom's group well we're mom friends and we do a secret santa we started it last year so i have three kids to shop for and then a mom and i already got the mom a uh, victoria's secret lotion and i scored that free for my mother and i didn't have to buy that the budget for each is ten dollars and it doesn't seem like a lot but when you're trying to stretch a tiny budget for you know a large family it can go you know, it can go quick. So that's what I have to shop for. And then, let me see. I'm going to probably, our Christmas party is going to be on the 19th, uh, next Friday. So I'm planning to go and do my Christmas shopping for everybody else next week. Like between, 
Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Hopefully I can get everything done uh, before Wednesday because I'd really like to get that done. And then I will get the kids stocking stuffers after, I think, after I've shopped for everybody else. I just want to make sure that I've gotten everybody else's gifts that I have to buy for. And then I can kind of get the stocking stuffers, which won't be too much anyway, the stocking stuffers. Um, I made up a list of the stocking stuffers like I showed, and it's really not a lot. Um, really not too expensive. I'm hoping I don't have to spend more than $20 for all four kids. I know that's a little, maybe $30 for all four stockings because I'm hoping to get most of this stuff for a buck or less. So yeah, I think I could do it for $20. Because that's like $5, well, $30. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah, that is my um, Christmas tradition, how we celebrate Christmas with our children and pretty much what our budget is like for um, four kids plus um, a few extra family members and my Secret Santa group.